Alright, hello everyone, my name is Shep, welcome back to the Butcher Circus. Today we are going to be playing against Kalashnikov once again. It's been absolute ages since I've last played against him. And today we are going to be playing a Quadra religious team. So, apparently there's only four religious characters in Darkest Dungeon, and these are it. It's the Leper, Crusader, Flagellant and Vestal. Now, to make a team with these guys was absolutely horrible because guess what having three frontline characters and a vestal doesn't really allow you to make teams all that easily since they all want to do different things but we're just um we're just gonna have to make it work anyway i suppose so my opponent is going for the immediate uh transformation of that abomination now the album is a really strong character and he's probably gonna yeah there he goes he's probably gonna slam my crusader he could have gone for a slam on my leper but uh, his chance of actually moving me wouldn't have been all that good so he just decided to slam my crusader and there goes my master plan my master plan was just spamming rate of execution and um having the crusader basically be the damage output while the flagellant is a support and so is the vessel but i guess we're already gonna have to adapt a little bit but i suppose the holy lance isn't that bad of a move as long as it connects and deals um, a decent amount of damage so yeah the flagellant is going to be a supportive character having that uh, gauntlet of absolution and the last breath color so using his reclaim and the suffer he should be able to you know, pretty much keep any character alive. It would be more important against the damage team, but since we're playing against stress here, it's going to be a little less important, but the Gauntlet of Absolution is uh, probably still going to do some work. I mean, since I'm in this position, right, I'm probably just going to use a Punish anyway. Hit chance isn't that good, but uh, Punish is 100% 100 accuracy base, isn't all that bad, but unfortunately we just failed that bleed. I mean, the one time I don't bring Crimson Hook, I immediately get Vled. You love to see it, don't you? You absolutely love to see it. Okay, that's going to be a ceiling spaghetti coming down. That's... Oh, that is so much more being applied. I'm surprised he didn't actually go for a... For a pull, you know, what's it called? The demon's pull. That would have been <laughs> destructive right here. But uh, I'm happy that he didn't do it. I'm just going to go for a stun the abomination. It's a much better chance. And I don't really have any stunning trinkets. I just decided to bring two healing trinkets because... I didn't really think the Vestal would have to be stunning all the time. I just um, I just wanted her to to start using those um, how do you call it? You know, the divine comforts and the divine graces, just keep the, the crusader alive and essentially go from there. And I might actually be doing that because that's a lot of stress. That is way too much stress for us to deal with. Uh, but first things first, I feel like I'm gonna drop an intimidate here. I'm just gonna drop it on the houndmaster and you're gonna see just how good intimidate is. So 25 stress for a one target ability, minus 33% damage. Now, that's pretty big debuff, but the thing is, on a doggy, who cares <laughs> against against the stress team? This is totally useless, doing a damage debuff for minus 33% damage right now. I mean, Intimidate is just such a shitty ability because you, only, you can only use it in position 1, and other than that, you... It, it just doesn't apply that much stress, and of course it's on the leper. If he gets disrupted, then he becomes immediately useless. Just compare having a leper to man at arms. I mean, his spell or debuff can be used from anywhere, against everywhere, and on top of that, it's a debuff for three rounds, just like Intimidate, but it's only 20%, but it's being applied on all characters. Like, the difference is just massive, and he can do it from absolutely everywhere, and he isn't total garbage, and comparison to everything else because even with the exotic snuff you can just pull a character from behind me and then I'm already having a terrible time again. Speaking of pulling a character from behind me, he's going with an occultist. Oh, he's looking at my characters. Yeah, he's gonna go for a pull on my vessel. Uh, that's likely to move her. I, I do think he has the fleshbound grimoire. Yeah, he does. He has the grimoire and the monkey spawn. So we are in position 2 right now, but I honestly think that here my best choice is actually just to move back. I can move back and then go for a Holy Lance, and I feel like this is a, this is a pretty okay situation here. It won't it won't be all that bad. It's going to be a Hound's Harry being applied. No extra accuracy on his side. He hasn't been using those commands. I guess I don't really have any dodge to speak of, but yeah, that's still kind of a decent amount of stress being applied, but I don't really see how he's going to be able to deal with my flagellant. Oh, my 
Watch on this is going to be pretty darn tanky. Though I don't have Exsanguinate with this setup. Oh, I should have Exsanguinate, honestly. I should really have Exsanguinate. Also, if he goes for another transformation, I'm probably just going to clear the horror with the Divine Grace. You know what I could go for right now? I could actually go for a Hue instead of an Intimidate. Might actually do enough damage. Uh, of course, Leopard just one off. I'm surprised I even hit, honestly. Yeah, I'm surprised I even, I even get that hit. I feel like this was a, a total win right here. That's going to be a Bellow coming down, so no afflictions yet. Just barely, barely no afflictions. Um, I could click here and go for a heal somewhere. Or I could go for a stun, actually. That would be... Yeah, that would have a lot of value right here. Uh, fearful. That's a pretty big pass chance. It's a 12% and... Speaking of the devil, immediate 12% chance pass. Come on. Is there no justice in this world? <laughs> and so it begins. So begins the lack of justice in this world. Yeah, that is uh, that is really quite sad. Well, he's uh, detransforming with his save. I'm uh, either going to go for self-heal or maybe a uh, stun with the manacles. Uh, he's going to go manacles on my crusader. I do have a chance of resisting it, but yeah, there's no justice in this world. That's been established already. I'm thinking of going suffer here. Just so I take less stress. Is that an idea? Uh, you know what? I'm, no, that's really silly. Yeah, that's really silly. I need to kind of go aggressive here if I want to have even a, a decent winning chance. And that is that is pretty good for going aggressive right there. That's going to be that doggy put in harm's way. Um, though he does have both the self-heal from the doggy as well as the healing from the occultist. So he can do just about anything. Goes for Halsari, gets a crit somewhere. I'm still not. I, was that a crit on the Leper for zero, actually? Might have been. We go abusive, so maybe Hugh actually does some okay damage. If it wasn't for those Bellow debuffs, then it could do some okay damage. Yeah. Uh, he might go for a heal or he might just go aggressive. I'm not too sure what he wants to do here. He's, he's looking over my characters. <laughs> does he want to go aggressive? I guess he does. He's gonna go for that noodles. It's probably gonna get an affliction, right? Yeah, I don't have a virtue chance. I did decide to bring the numbing instance on this crusader because I wasn't planning on using stunts and numbing instance with the minus stress taken and the stun resistance could have been good, but it isn't really working. Wow, he went for a manacles against my numbing instance. What a mad lad. Instead of just going for a heal or anything of the likes. Um should I go for a stun again? Yeah, let's do it. Let's see if we can do it. Maybe we don't pass this time? We don't. Oh, that's not a death blow, but... Is that a stun? That is the question. Yeah, we do get a stun. Okay, that's not too bad then. That is not too bad. I wonder what he goes for. He can go for a heal now, but... Um, maybe... Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. Yeah, he's not the kind of... He's not the kind of person to heal all that much, I have to feel. Kalashnikov isn't, uh, isn't really the kind of person to care too much about his own characters. <laughs> he just wants to do the maximum amount of damage and stress. That's literally what he keeps telling me. And that's probably very, very good for us, because I feel like that's a massive misplay. He shouldn't let his doggy die like that. But yeah, we can go for punish, and that's the doggy death. I mean, he has a sword machine healer. He could have just gone for a heal and maybe healed 20. Uh, but, um, you know, he is applying a lot of stress. It's going to be another Vessel Artillery. No crits, surprisingly, actually. I feel like whenever... Whenever I play the Occultist, they just get a, I just get a lot of crits, but... It's kind of a, a weird one. Usually I'm complaining about not getting crits, but I feel like he should be complaining right now. Also, look at those Bellow debuffs. <laughs> okay, how much damage do you bet I'm going to do with a Holy Lance? To the men at arms, 10% prot. Let's see, zero, zero damage. Holy lance, one damage. Holy lance to the occultist. Absolutely beautiful. Well, the thing is, if I go for a heal right now, it's not going to save me, and I'm still going to do it because maybe I get a crit heal out of it. But the only reason I'm not going for a holy lance is because I don't want to disrupt the flange one. Because the flange one right now really is our only chance of winning this. I mean, the backline is just totally dead. I have to feel. The backline is essentially just dead. He's gonna go for a slam on the leopard. Does he get it, actually? Maybe maybe I have minus move rest because of the affliction, but fortunately, no. I'm still alive and chilling right now. Uh, it's a little bit of stress. Flagellant still isn't afflicted. Yeah, just barely. 
and the abomination is gonna go afflicted right now, though he's already gotten two transformations off, so this isn't all that good. Uh, though that was a perfect amount of stress being applied, that was pretty good. Yeah, the abomination is in harm's way right now. Once those two characters make it to the front, he's gonna have a really hard time dealing with my flash one, so maybe we can still make this work. It's pretty much my my only hope right now is that we can make this work with uh, with the flash one just being uh, just being an absolute boss. He's gonna keep spamming that bellow. He has guards. He has heals. Why doesn't he go for them? Oh, the mad person. Seriously, he can go for both, but he doesn't. Um, I'm taking enough horror, but I'm not taking enough um, enough bleed, so I can just go for this. And I honestly feel like going for a self-heal here, because maybe I stay alive. Yeah, that's going to be the affliction. I was thinking of going for a heal on that flash one just to cure the horror. But if I go for a heal on myself right now, <laughs> I crit for 48, and I remove the horror as well. How do you like that, huh? How do you like that? Oh, he's gonna keep spamming. Yeah, he's gonna get me eventually, but... Whoa, look at that. Can I heal, actually? You think maybe I have a chance of healing? Wait, actually, I do. I do have a chance of healing. Hang on. I could actually save the situation right now. I could go for a reclaim, or I could go for a punish. Punish should potentially get the kill, but no, I'm gonna go for a reclaim here. And that might just save my, my Crusader. Because of, of the regen, right? Okay, that's gonna be an act out. He hits himself at that store. Uh, fortunately, he doesn't cause death. And uh, he is gonna heal himself now. Okay, he is gonna heal himself. Be kind of a meat shield with that abomination, I suppose, since he managed to, to survive. I'm just gonna click here. I'm definitely gonna have a heart attack from that. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna be alive, and that's what matters. And ooh, we move forward. Um, do we wanna go Zalus then? Honestly, I feel like going for a heal here. I feel like that was my plan and that will stay my plan. Because I want to clear the damage debuff on the on the leper so I can actually go for a heal here and potentially do some decent damage. 9 to 16 isn't all that bad. We're only doing this much damage because we're abusive. So that's really helping us right now. Although he does get to go first next round. He's down a character, so he does have that advantage. I mean my team is on the brink of collapse right here, but uh, his team isn't, the men arms and the cultists are just chilling, but once they're the last two characters alive, you can say goodbye to your ceiling spaghetti. I feel like this is uh, this isn't gonna be that bad for us. Okay, let's go for the for the same thing. Let's just drop another hue. Hopefully he does enough. Oh just barely. 13 damage, just barely. That's what you love to see. That is what you love to see. What is he gonna go for right now? He has a few options. He can still go for a heal or a guard. I mean, guarding right now would be kind of silly because I can't go zealous, but yeah, he's just gonna keep spamming those bellows. That's gonna be a heart attack. Oh, this is dangerous. This is really dangerous. If I don't heal right now, that's another heart attack. Uh, yeah, this is really bad. <laughs> this is really bad. I mean, whichever character I decide not to heal, he can just go ahead and, um, and use a weakening curse on and kill it immediately. But if I don't pass, I get to go for Divine Comfort here and heal everyone for 7. So that means that there's going to be no heart attacks at this point. But if he does enough damage with that uh, with that artillery, we might be screwed here. Let's see, how much does he roll for? Oh, the fated crit. Yeah, that is the crit I was speaking of earlier. Yeah, that's going to be the vessel gone. She, there's no way she resists that. She's just going to take a bunch of horror and yeah. There's also a lot of horror being applied to the flagellant. Oh, that wasn't too good. I'm really sad he went to the backline actually, because um, the Pajon does really well against normal stress because Gaunt of Absolution, but against horror stress, uh, not so much. Not so much at all. I feel like my play here is going to be to have a heart attack, go Zealous and then go Redeem for the heal. I feel like that's going to be the play right here. I really want to win this one. Oh, that helps! <laughs> that helps if I want to win this one. Okay, okay, that's nice. Yeah, I definitely have to go for a heal here, or he just kills my Crusader immediately. I'm, I'm just gonna drop a redeem right now. That's gonna be our first redeem. Uh, first of two, and I don't have Exsanguinate, unfortunately. Oh, how I wish I had Exsanguinate. I mean, this is still pretty good. This is still pretty good. I feel like we have a really decent winning chance here. Uh, but it's it's just decent. It's definitely very, very far from confirmed here, honestly. He's gonna, he's gonna use a Bellow. Hmm... Okay, how much stress is that applying? I'm 
199. 199, that's almost heart attack level. Um, I'm definitely taking enough horror from that. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take the horror and then heal. I, I feel like if I get to exhaust that horror, I'll be I'll be fine here eventually. Uh, mark myself, that's meaningless. That is totally meaningless. Now we get to just go for a heal here. Numginsense is helping me out quite a bit here, by the way, with the minus strength taken. Once all that nasty horror goes away, that could be super, super useful. Um, I wonder what he goes for. He couldn't go for a bunch of moves here, honestly. He's gonna go for... really? He's gonna go for a weakening curse for one stress on my leopard. <laughs> oh, I guess it is a good move. It's gonna force out my solemnity. And um, that's a bit of stress, not too much. I'm gonna have to go Solemnity here, I suppose. That's one Solemnity down, I'm only gonna have two of those. And right now, should I move forward? Uh, that is the question. Should I move forward? Should I maybe suffer, actually? You know what? I'm gonna go for something quite weird here. <laughs> he says no to the suffer. Oh man, I don't even care. I'm just going for the self minus stress. Yeah, that's gonna make it so I take minus 40% stress, so the horror isn't gonna hurt me quite as much. Yeah, that's that's the idea here, that's the plan. That is the hope, that is the dream. He's gonna he's gonna keep spamming those bellows, it seems. Yeah, makes sense. Um he could go for a guard here, so I take so I do less damage, but yeah, he, we have figured out his modus operandi. His modus operandi is to just keep hurting me <laughs> with uh, with the stress, so I suppose he's gonna keep playing that way. Uh, oh, those hit chances are horrible. Do I have minus accuracy? I guess I do. Uh, from the snuff, right? But I do have eerie eye buffing it up a lot, but yeah. Oh, that is dreadful. Six damage? Oh, where's my offense? How am I gonna be able to win this? This is, hor this is horrible. This is just horrible. Um, he's gonna... Oh, weakening curse on me. That's gonna cause enough stress. Do I take enough from the from that horror? Well, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Yeah, I take just exactly sixteen because my numbing instance is countering the death or debuff, so I don't really take enough stress, which is perfect. That's absolutely perfect. And now I'm gonna go for a heal on this um, on this leper, and we just stay alive. He's having a really hard time finishing us off here, actually. Yeah, really hard time, I'm gonna have to say. You know what? Uh, oh, since we move forward, actually, I can start going for punishes. Um, I'm just gonna go for the guaranteed hit here. I just wanna get one of his characters out. That's probably gonna be the best play for me. Instead of just starting to miss this occultist endlessly, I'd, I'd rather just do that. Though I do kind of want to focus the occultist down a little bit harder than than I wanna focus down the, uh, the men in arms, but I'm, I'm just gonna go for that anyway. He's gonna use uh, another bellow that's gonna cause one heart attack. Not enough on the on the crusader. Takes one stress from the heart attack uh, happening to the leper. By the way, dangerous, very very dangerous. Hopefully I don't go for a pass. Oh no, he does the act out. Oh, that is so bad. That is so bad. I'm gonna lose the crusader now. Maybe he doesn't see it. Maybe he doesn't see it. I mean, he's a pretty good player. He, sh he should be able to see it, right? Maybe he doesn't do enough stress because of the Namigansons. Uh, yeah, but there goes that idea. He just gets a death flow. Okay, okay. I see how it is. This is going to be a lot worse than I thought. Oh, we do hit the punish. Can you imagine if I had Exagonate? This would be such an easy match. I mean, I still have one redeem. But it would be so... Freaking easy if I had if I had fucking exsanguinate. I'm sorry. But this would be piss easy as a match if I had exsanguinate. Because I could just heal myself three times with that while also outputting a lot of damage. There there's no way he would win this. Yeah, I, I mean it. No way he would ever win this. Now honestly I have to go for a kill on that occultist. There's no way I win unless I get a kill on the occultist. Okay, that's a really good hit. I love seeing those hits because I can survive the Men at Arms um, Bellow. I can survive the Men at Arms Bellow. I can't survive the Occultist. And I, I think he knows it. I think he knows it. He probably knows it, right? He's gonna go for the Weakening Curse on my Flash. That's gonna be a crit. That's definitely gonna do enough stress. Now, even with the minus stress taken and the Gauntlet of Absolution, the crit of those just, just really, really hurts. 
Uh, I wish I had a Xang. Oh, why do I do support Flashlight? Seriously, why do I have a full religious team? Why am I not being blessed by Iron Jesus, honestly? Should I go for a heal here or should I let it last? He probably doesn't do enough stress immediately, right? Uh, I could suffer a death blow, but I have 95 death blow res. You know what? We have to be greedy if we want to win. That's, that's not how being greedy looks like. Going well. Uh, we, we can probably still do it. He's, he's definitely going to go for the death blow. Uh, I really hope he doesn't do enough stress. He shouldn't. He shouldn't do enough stress. Okay, that, that wasn't enough. <laughs> Gone to the web solution, saving my ass. Uh, not a death blow, by the way, as well. Um, hits himself at this door. Oh, God. Last breath color is saving us right here. Let's go for that heal. That's a heal for 30, but that's not gonna save us. One more heart attack, and uh, yeah, you, you know how that goes. He's probably gonna just keep spamming those bellows, right? There's nothing else for him to do, honestly. Has his men at arms done anything that wasn't a bellow? I mean, I don't think so. He does have Carnival Mask here, yeah, so that's that's literally the bellow setup. No, Epper, you idiot! He makes the he makes the flash won't have a heart attack. Oh, I'm I'm gonna have a winning chance, but it's gonna be so slim. It's gonna be so slim. The men at arms stays alive as well. Oh, it's so slim. He's going to go for the killing shot, right? Well, maybe he goes for a self-heal. I wonder which is best for him. Oh, he's going to go for the killing shot and he gets the death blow. Okay, Leper. Leper. Don't, don't get stressed. No, he got stressed. My accuracy. No, my accuracy. Why did he get stressed? I have a winning chance. I have a winning chance. 80 and 40. 53, 25. If I fail it, I die. I got one of them, but I failed the occultist. I failed the occultist, he can go for the weakening curse now and just kill me. Yeah, that's 100% gonna do enough, right? Oh, he goes for a self-heal. He goes for a self-heal. Nah, he's just trolling me now. Yeah, he's just trolling me. There's no way I win this. I I've lost already. I'm sorry to disappoint, but I've lost already. Yeah, Weakening Curse doesn't even have a missing chance. He's just showing me at this point. Oh, the asshole. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Yeah, it's just finishing me off with the Weakening Curse. He's, he's gonna keep self-healing. What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh, I hope he heals for zero. Can you imagine if he actually heals for zero? I'm gonna keep doing this. He's gonna get afflicted now. He's gonna get afflicted. He's playing with his food. Maybe I can win this if he goes afflicted. He goes hopeless. Hopeless has a pass chance. Hopeless has a pass chance. You think he's realized. Maybe now he knows, like, okay, maybe I should stop trolling, right? Oh, that's an act out. Oh, come on, moves forward. Moves forward. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He keeps going for it. Please, just let me get a crit. If I get a crit, I might heal enough stress that a weakening curse doesn't do enough. It's, I called it a devastating blow. Oh my god, is there a winning chance? He doesn't do enough stress now. I mean, maybe he doesn't, I'm not too sure. Maybe he does do enough stress. I, I don't know about this. That's an act out. That's an act out. He hits himself at the floor. Why? Why do you do this? He's gonna go for the weakening curse. It does zero damage, but... Oh my god. I hate you, Kalashnikov. I hate you for doing this to me. I can't believe I almost won with the religious team, but I still lost. What an asshole! What an asshole! Gee. Oh, that's GG anyway. He played this. He played this uh, amazingly. Yeah, that was a really good game. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you again another time. Cheers.